All right, welcome back. Part two of the Battle of Fredericksburg. Marie's Heights fight continues, but now we open things up to the center of the line as well. And this is where it can get a little interesting. You have to kind of pick and choose your fight here and, and cover, try to figure out where he's going to come from. And eventually he's going to come from this other side. Uh, I do have to hold this objective right here. So I'm going to have to, to do some shifting of my forces down just to account for that. I don't want to leave too much open, but I also don't want to shift more than I really need to down to that other side. I think that leaves me more than enough to cover this side. going to continue to pound away at him here on Marie's Heights. I know he's got somebody over here. Where are my snipers? Oh, they moved back into position. Okay. So we'll get these guys up here just to cover this side just in case he does show up and surprise me over there. I'll go ahead and back these guys up for now. There's not a lot to be gained by being out there like that. I'll, I'll let him continue to throw his forces against me. Lose a lot of men. I now have about a, tw a little less than 20,000 man advantage on the field of the forces that are present. These guys are moving awfully slow. I've got these extra brigades here just to help cover because he's throwing some additional brigades. Just got to keep an eye out on the on the mini map here to see the forces that show up down in that bottom right. Oh, Torbert, you got to get out of there, dude. It's not happening fast enough. get him back over to this side be a little faster that way oh uh, look supplies crossing right in front of me all right we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit while we watch and see what happens he's throwing more and more at Marie's Heights which means more and more men are going to die. Of course, the temptation here is to do something kind of out of the box and aggressive, but honestly, the what the Union did with their attack was so unbelievably awful. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. You just got to let them do the same stupid things they did the first time around. Here's those captured supplies that I don't really need. slow things down for a second here. I think I might send Meredith out to deal with this battery, assuming there's nobody else around. I also might send this brigade out to get into these guys' flank. Maybe I'll do the same with the Virginia Brigade. Of course, I'm counting on the fact there's nothing else out here besides this battery and these supplies. Doesn't look like there is. All right, then. I 
get him. Or just reload and stand there. That, that works too, I guess. What are you guys doing? Go! Uh, I guess I wasted my charge somehow. Who's coming up at me in the center here? Stonewall Brigade has had a long day, but geez, 3,400 kills. My goodness. There we go. We got that battery. He's going to be gone. He may not have any of these men left when this is over. The ones that are out there now, anyway. He's got his whole left flank still that's going to be largely intact. Grab the supplies. Don't fire. Just grab them. Skirmishers. Also, don't fire. Oh, no, no, don't re... Nah, hit the wrong button. And now we fired on the supplies. They're going to get away. They're running too fast. All right, Meredith. You may fire. And you may go up this way to that battery. These guys will grab the supplies. See, this is what you do when you're trying to entertain yourself when you're winning an easy victory on the battlefield. Look at all those blue laying there. Supplies are going to run out of places to go here pretty soon. Uh, you don't have to run, Meredith. Your condition's awful now. Alright, let's fast forward. Doesn't appear to be anybody out there in the center. Did we get them? No, they just disappeared. Went somewhere I wasn't expecting. Yeah, they got away. Forget it. Go back to your unit. Alright, Crocker, watch out. Let's back up here before that battery fires into our flank. He's down to just 20,000 men on the field. On this side, anyway. Got to get Meredith. We're crossing through some swamp here. It's not the most hospitable place for an army. Alright, we can go back to fast forwarding a little bit. Another battery destroyed, or just about. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, he got away. The other battery got into me, and Osborne survived with his, escaped with his life, just barely. Maybe we can get one more volley into him, he'll disappear. Nah. He may live to fight another day. Oh, poor Meredith Skirmisher still pursuing these supplies over here. We may actually get him this time, even though we're exhausted. Get him. Come on. Don't let him get away again. This is your life's ambition. Grabbing these 99 supplies and then maybe this other 110 while you're at it. Oh, he, he's going to get stuck. Oh, he can't cross that. Come on. That's the freaking Rappahannock River. 
He's not getting across there. These supplies are going to walk right into me. All right, you know what? Yeah, just kill those ones. Forget it. Get these ones back to the line. Just kill them. They had their chance. There you go. All right. No, don't. No, reattach. There you go. All right. Let's get these guys over here. This is about to be over. At least on this side. So, of course, this is the point at which I'm about to be out of time on this part of the battle. But I guess, in theory, I could descend upon him and destroy just about everything that's left. Because there's only yeah, 12,000 men left to fight. Basically, it's a lot of artillery right now that I'm charging at. But we're going to run out of time. Get those supplies. Uh, interesting that they walked right past me, and they're walking right into me. Oh, no, 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 don't stop now. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, let's finish this thing up. This is the final part of the battle now. The right, which of course I don't have anything there to speak of. This is my third core, which I'm just going to pull back to that spot over there. We'll let him have that. All right, Fitz, you get out of there, buddy. You guys too. Everybody, pull back. We're gonna pull all the way back to the objective, and we're gonna have a nice little line here to defend it. I'm gonna pull these guys back too. Oh, Stoneman can do whatever he wants. Oh, fits you. Get up there. Just got three hours left. Now, one thing I could have done that I didn't do is I could have pulled some of the forces down that were defending Marie's Heights down to the edge of that map, and some of them probably would have been available to me here. But I don't think that's going to be necessary. I think I've got enough to defend this position with, with the time that's left. I'm going to drop these guys back to this line here. All right, so we just got to hold for another two and a half hours, and this battle's over. Of course, this is where he's going to outnumber me, but it's not going to matter. Right now, he's got 10,000 men more than I do. Jeez, a lot of tiny brigades here. Cavalry, artillery, small brigades of infantry. I wish I had enough men that I could just descend on all of that and just eat it alive. But I'm just going to hold this position and be satisfied with the victory.
Two hours to go. We're just basically running out the time here. He's going to try to shift and get around me. That actually may work to a point. Let's do this. Let's get these guys over here. Of course, this is the weakness with the strategy that I've employed by overloading my left and center and leaving very little on the right. Uh, where he's very strong um, I just have to be very cautious in this last part of the battle that he doesn't have an opportunity to overrun me because if he takes this objective here he wins the battle Alright, less than an hour to go. Just gonna hang on everywhere here. Come on, Stuart. Don't get sucked into that. Just gotta hold the line. Uh, now, he got moved, and that meant that Colquitt got moved. And it throws my whole line off. I think we're okay again. There are really very few battles that are easier than Fredericksburg. Alright, Dilger's getting lit up up here. I gotta back him up a little bit. He was, he was kind of out there anyway. At least as the as the Confederates, there's very few battles that are easier than Fredericksburg. Oh, Kimball. There we go. All right, that should just about do it. No real threat. He never really got close to the objective. It's really the only thing left to see is how the final numbers check out. He's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 50,000 casualties. And I probably could have been a tad more aggressive at Marie's Heights and maybe caused more. Or up here, if I brought some of those troops down from Marie's Heights at the end of that phase and had them available here, maybe I could have crushed some of these units here. But that'll do it. So let's take a look. All right, 41,586 casualties, 9,400 for me. Uh, the last time I fought this battle, there were similar similar starting numbers. I basically used the same strategy, and the Union had 39,800 casualties to my 10,806. So I actually brought mine down by about 1,400 and drove his up by about 2,000. But by and large, using the same strategy, got about the same result. Um now, I did grab 10,000 Harper's Ferries, so that's nice. That basically, right there in and of itself, I mean, um, I captured as many guns as I lost men. So I, I'm going to be better armed after this battle for sure. By the time you see everything I rescued plus the stuff that I grabbed, I didn't grab a lot of supplies. I wish I had grabbed more of those. 
but I am coming out of this battle better armed, better led, and I'll be interested to see how many men the Union has now as we go into the next phase of the battle, uh, of the campaign, which is going to include the Battle of Stones River. Let's take a look. All right, so dear Mr. President, the enemy general history guy has been highly successful these past few months. I think we need to desperately change our plans. I'm suggesting a meeting between our top commanders, blah, blah, blah. They're giving him another 30,000 men. All right, so he lost more than that. So, of course, the number of his army has gone down again, this time to eighty to 85,000. Now, if we can get a, a nice, solid win at Everettsville and bring that number down a little bit more... Before we go into Stones River, then we'll be in good shape. I want to look right now and see, at least for day one of Stones River, what's his army look like? 62,000. Now, obviously, that's going to change as mine is scaled. But, of course, he can only be scaled so high. He can't go higher than the eighty to 85,000 he's got. So, um, what do I have? Oh, history guy, I finally made lieutenant general. I've got... About 50,000 men in my army, another 11,000 available to me, so 60,000 I can get in the field. Um, okay, so we'll see how that goes when it comes to Stones River. But uh, that's where things stand at the moment. I'll do some thinking about how I want to refit, where I want to put those points. Um, if you got any suggestions on that, I'm all ears. Of course, my reputation is up to 90, so I definitely need to spend some of that. Um, but I've got eight in politics, only one in economy, seven in medicine, two in training, seven army organizations, six in logistics, and four in reconnaissance. Where do you think I should put the points? Let me know. Use the comment section below to uh, give your input on that. And, of course, I've got 90 points here that I can spend, and I, I've got a lot of different ways I can spend those. So I uh, welcome your input on any and all matters. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you would. I'd appreciate that. Um, tell your friends. Let's make this push toward 1,300 subscribers. I'm so grateful to all of you who have subscribed, who have commented, who have watched and enjoyed these videos. Thank you so much. Appreciate it greatly. We'll see you again soon.